Hello players, one of you smart fellas out there has discovered a way to unlink your Facebook account from the Oculus Quest 2 with a tool called Oculus. Noise. Now, let's talk about that. As you may or may not have noticed, I haven't been covering much Oculus stuff lately, mainly because me and the lizard man don't really agree on what you should be allowed to do with your own hardware. I made a couple of videos about those, maybe check them out. The main issue that I had with the Quest 2 was the need for a Facebook account, the issue that has <laughs> divided the VR community. Some simply don't care, but others believe that the use of your own hardware should not be controlled by reptiles. I'm, I'm in the second. Group. <laughs> but there, there are some other reasons as well, but I've talked about those. But all of that could change because there is a new tool called Oculus, <laughs> a great name, and it lets you remove Facebook from your device. I mean, it's, it's nearly 2022 and we need a tool to remove a tool. There are a couple of catches though, and we'll get to those in a minute. So all you have to do is sideload the Oculus app, and from there, you get a few options like Disable Device Companion, which will log you out from Facebook. You can also remove your Facebook account, Disable Telemetry, and Updates. Well, all of this sounds pretty good so far. Now, some of those changes are reverted when you restart your device, but using some shell commands, you can make those changes permanent. You will have to factory reset your headset if you want to turn them back on. Full instructions are on the creator's GitHub page, and I'll link that down below. So those catches that I mentioned, well, you still need a Facebook account to set up and to sideload your apps. And you need a developer account, which means giving the Zuck a phone number or card details. Hmm. Yeah, you will also lose access to the Oculus Store, if you care about that. But does this mean you should rush out and buy a Quest 2 just for this? No, absolutely not. Although, if you do buy one, there is an affiliate link in the description. Just, just saying. It's, it's, it's down there. As cool as Oculus sounds, it's not a perfect solution, but it is one step closer to having control of your own device. We shouldn't have to fight for that. And I, don't know, I like these steps, because the Oculus Quest 2 is a great headset, but it'd be a lot It'll be fantastic without all this Facebook nonsense. But the other thing I can imagine is that Facebook will want to shut this down, and they will, which might start a game of cat and mouse or whack-a-mole, and to that I say, let the games begin. But when Facebook patch this out in firmware, because that will happen, it is going to be a lot harder to do this again. And as far as I'm aware, when you first start up the Oculus Quest 2, it checks for a firmware update, so, so that's a problem. And what's also a problem is privacy online. Private internet access is the world's number one VPN and can help you protect your privacy online. Check them out with the link below. Well, do you think this is good? I do. Change my mind. <laughs> Will you be trying this? Let me and the people know in the comments below. I, I don't have a Quest 2, so I can't try this. So I take no responsibility for any damage or stupidity caused. But until next time, keep playing and be excellent to each other.